Hello, hey everybody. This is Dave Wallace coming to you from my home here in Waihewa, Hawaii, and it's Monday Talk Story Time. Welcome. Uh, today, I'd like to share uh, some announcements before we get into the main topic of our story time. Um, and this has to do with uh, my Kindle Vela uh, series that I just started, and it's the Shark Man of Haleiwa, and this can be found on Kindle Vela. And uh, tomorrow I'm going to be releasing the third episode. Uh, I snuck in a second episode uh, earlier uh, this week, uh, earlier last week, and um, I wanted to get a jump and uh, on the story and have more readers or more material for you folks to read. So tomorrow I'm releasing episode three. The first episode is Cannibal. And this uh, talks about the development of this child that's born, that's uh, part shark and part human. And um, unfortunately, uh, while this child is developing in his womb, uh, he develops shark behavior, shark-like behavior, and cannibalizes his twin. So that was Cannibal. Uh, in the second uh, episode, you had uh, Auntie Momi. And Auntie Momi is introduced. And for uh, those of you who read uh, Mark of the Eel, Auntie Momi is a grandmother. And uh, she is a shapeshifter. But she's not a shark shapeshifter. She's an eel. And so um, <clears throat> this child, after uh, eating his uh, twin in a womb, the parents reject them and don't want to have anything to do with this child. So Momi goes up there uh, and visits with the child. And um, that's what, um, that's the second episode. The third episode tomorrow is um, Momi and her youngest son, uh, Paul, uh, goes to the hospital and visits with the child. And the episode is called He Bite, okay? And uh, Paul, Momi's uh, youngest son, is a kupua, just like Momi, and he's able to shift, shape shift into an eel, uh, just like his older brother, Martin. So uh, he senses that there's something different about this child in a hospital that Momi is trying to bring home with them. So a decision has to be made. Um, do we want this child in your home, a shark in an eel, uh, in an eel den, basically? Um, or do we have abandon it and give it to somebody else? Or, um, you know, worse of all, um, no one takes care of this child. So that's tomorrow, okay? And uh, for those of you who've been reading, thank you so much for reading. Uh, episodes uh, one through four are free. After that, uh, from uh, from the fifth episode on, uh, you're going to have to pay some coins if you're interested in reading this story. And uh, one of the reasons why I started this is that, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, stories of different shapeshifters, and a lot of them... Um, you know, talk about Native American culture and or appropriating cultures and things like that. And um, I felt rather than um, rather than waiting for a person who's not a Hawaiian to jump in and write about our beliefs and um, our shape shifting traditions. Uh, especially that a Hawaiian gets in and lead the way. <laughs> okay, so uh, thank you so much uh, for Hawaiians out there. If you enjoyed the story, pass it on, share it with your friends. Okay, and um, encourage us. And if you folks have stories that you'd like to share or create about your own family shape-shifting, um, you know, beliefs or traditions, by all means, write write about it share otherwise it's lost for uh you know future generations and uh my whole idea is to um perpetuate and preserve some of the culture that we do have okay 
And uh, so that's my spill for uh, for tomorrow. Um, I look forward to you folks uh, reading this and um, make sure when you read, uh, put a comment or at least give it a thumbs up. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, since we're on a topic of uh, shape shifting sharks, uh, I come from the island of Molokai, and on um, when I was little, my dad was a throw net fisherman, and uh, he used to take his net and put him in his truck, and uh, he would tell us, "Hey, get in the truck. We're going to holo holo." And I always used to wonder, you know, why is my dad? talking about holo holo i know he's taking the fish the fishing net and uh you know we're going fishing and instead of saying hey we're going fishing he said we want holo holo and so i asked him about that tradition um and so he told me a story and there's many stories like this uh on you know not only on molokai but uh other islands that um uh, you know, you had you have a tradition where the fishermen are very secretive about um, their spots, their koa, and um, you know they, that's their refrigerator where um, where they take care of the fish, and the fish is fat, and they can uh, count on uh, getting fish from this area. Well, on the island of Molokai, uh, the ones uh, in, in a place called uh, Puko, uh, there's a village of fishermen that lived there. And they're really, really good fishermen. They knew the grounds. They used to go out and uh, fish. And when they come in, the boats, uh, the canoes would be filled with fish. And one day, um, a stranger, um, nobody sure, uh, nobody sure where this stranger came from, but he came into um, the Ahupua'a and, um, you know, to live. And one odd thing about this, new man that came in uh he was always wearing a cape some kind of cape to cover his back and so you know he seemed like a nice gentleman uh, he helped with a lot of people in the work and he fit in with the Ahupua. when there was work to be done he did his fair share and uh when the canoes would go out uh, to go fishing uh he would ask the fisherman hey where are you folks going to fish? You know, where are you, where are you, where are you folks going? And the fisherman is tell him, hey, we're going, we're going to go down to our koa. Oh, where's your koa? And so the fishermen say exactly where the fishing ground was going. And they felt, um, you know, everybody on the Aupua, um know where they're going. So it was okay to share that information with the stranger. So the fishermen would go out. And uh, in the process of fishing, um, while they're fishing, a huge shark would show up. And um, the shark would show up and eat one of them. So this was happening um, over, you know, over several months and people were getting pretty leery. Like, you know, why is the shark always turning up and eating one of, one of the men? We, there's a man eater out there. So they, and they were, we're wondering what was going on. And finally, um, they consulted Akona, and Akona came to uh, came to the Ahupua and started looking at the different people, and he observed this man walking around with a cape. And uh, when Akona confronted this man, um, you know, and he grabbed him by the cape and tore the cape off his back. When his back was revealed, there's a full mouth of a shark with the you know, shark teeth in there. And he was discovered. He's a man shark. This was the man shark. And so this man shark started uh, running away and trying to get into the water. But uh, the people of the Ahupua finally surrounded him and dragged him out of the water. And they killed him. And they dragged his body up to a hill. And they burnt him. In fact, um, on Molokai, Puko, they call this a shark god hill. Ever since that time, um, fishermen on Molokai and uh, Puko area um, never gave their um, <laughs> positions away. So if you ask a fisherman, 
hey, what's he, where are you guys going? Um, the Hawaiians, the fishermen would say, oh, we're going holo holo. <laughs> okay. And uh, it was a, it was a polite way of saying none of your damn business. <laughs> so uh, going holo holo. And uh, my dad uh, was very particular about, um, you know, not saying we're going fishing. Okay. And so, in fact, um, if we say anything about fishing, uh, we can catch fish and stuff. Uh, he turned the truck around and uh, come home. And that's it for the day. Okay. So um, these are some of the traditions that we have. And, um, you know, the idea of a man shark um, that's shape-shifting between a human being to uh, to shark when they get in the water was something real for our ancestors. Okay. Anyway, uh, I hope you folks enjoyed Talk Story Time today. And uh, until next time, this is Dave Wallace from Waihua, Hawaii, wishing you folks well and aloha.